on filmmaking. Uh, so you can do that for um, journalism or for making films and so on. Um, so I've been doing that for the last six months or so. Essentially just making films and what have you on your, on your phone. And uh, I thought that there's some possibilities. That's why I said, I said possibilities. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to practice this in an English language classroom yet. But So I, I just kind of, uh, maybe that's something you guys can think about. It. Um, so just w w why smartphones? So there's like, um, basically smartphones, uh, yeah, most of us have it in our pockets. Um, they allow us to, do, to, to, to film a thing, to edit a thing and publish it. And just a few years ago, uh, like this would have cost would have took, took loads of people, um, and lots, and it would be very expensive and take a long time. Um, so I guess that is a, a, a huge change, and it's a huge thing. I think people coming of age nowadays, they, this is like a natural thing for them. But for older people, uh, this is like a massive change in me. So it is, it is a kind of a big, big thing. Uh, I guess these are probably just a few examples. Just this is um, a film made, I think, two years ago. It was all shot on the iPhone. I think loads of films are shot on the iPhone now. So this one is like properly um, edited and so on. Like this is a proper feature film, but it's just an example of a, a mobile phone. This was I was just kind of searching for. There's this kind of culture of like people doing um, comedy, like internet comedians. And actually, like these guys are from uh, the Philippines. Like so, uh, I know I, I was kind of uh, th these guys are making a joke. You can't hear the sound. But, um, and it's said in the classroom as well. But uh, you know, people like just basically like little groups of comedians, they make like little um, things themselves. So this is kind of like the sort of low budget, kind of quick and simple kind of thing. And I was, kind of, I was following mostly like, it's a lot of American guys who kind of started, I guess, because for whatever reason, but it's kind of, I, I, I just noticed that it's, uh, in, in other countries it's happening as well. Uh, this is an, uh, an American guy, um, but, um, yeah, basically they have them in formats. The, the, the history of it was, um, yeah, the, the, there was a, a certain apps that were built. Now they're often on like Instagram and so on. Um, but basically they make like little comedy things or, or lots of other little things. Um, yeah, it's worth it. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so just to say, like these, these people generate an incredible amount of these, uh, these things. So, um, so yeah, that's that's just an example of uh, of some of the stuff that they uh, that the people all over the place are doing. So I, I, I just like how does it apply to English language teaching? Um, so I don't. These are just a few ideas I thought of, like that uh, when students, if they were to do this, if they're to, like script, like a comedy or whatever else, or or um, a journalism thing, like you know, they'd be, uh, you know, they'd have to script it out, like maybe in a in a kind of a team, and they'd be like writing out the scenarios and all this kind of stuff, and um, they'd have to study it, like you know, it'd be kind of a studious thing, and they'd practice it and perform it, and that's like a physical thing which <coughs> people would like uh, would look at and give give feedback to. And it's also just a bit of fun and. Mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of, it opens new social doors for them or whatever I said, but um, uh, there's loads of like, there's quite a big like filmmaker community and lots of things are going on, so people would have the opportunity to go and do others, other, other things. Uh, these are just a few, like the, the total basics of, um, uh, that I would do. Uh, so the Kin, the, so there's an app on your phone called KinMaster, which is, I mean there's lots of them, but one which I use is that, which is free and works on Android and uh, uh, iPhone. Uh, so the, just that's like an editing thing, and then you know a real basic kind of thing. Something called the five shot method. Some guy kind of came up with it, but it's basically like a kind of for dummies thing of like shooting a scene. Five shot means like when there's an action going on, you shoot you shoot it from five different angles, like you know at the hands on the on the face, like you know, and then you kind of put them together, and that can be a building block. So basically, if for example you as a teacher were to get your students familiar with these two kind of concepts. Then perhaps, like, um, this was just an idea I had of maybe a lesson plan. Um, say, like, if you had a, a block of time for trying to do it. It's not very well thought out, so maybe you guys would have different uh, ideas. But uh, if you start with, like, say, on the left-hand side, like, so you come up with some kind of a theme or a scenario or whatever, or, like, you know, a coffee shop or, or something like this, um, then 
well, how I would do is I would form like a class into teams, like you know, of two to four people maybe to, to make a film, and then get them like brainstorming all that kind of stuff, and then you want to like get them to do a script. A script is one thing, and then a storyboard. A storyboard is like it's like a kind of pictures or whatever, like what what the different scenes are, um, so. Uh, and then uh, shoot it, uh, then edit it, and then do like a kind of show and tell kind of thing. I think at different uh, steps, like for example, this up to here possibly could be done in the classroom, or uh, and here as well. I know, or I mean, you could do this all in one kind of go. I guess if the the thing gets, if you're kind of shooting something which is kind of more complicated, the editing thing can take a longer time. But if it's like a simple thing that potentially they could, and if they're well practiced, I guess as well, uh, they could like actually do it in the classroom or something like that. And then, I don't know, just if you had some kind of learning outcomes, like, I, I guess you guys would know, know better, but um, uh, you could be, like, um, plugging into those different uh, play, uh, um, sections or whatever, like, learning outcomes that you want, like, you know, get them to practice this or, this or that bit of it. Um, and that's it. Uh,